Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Cancer, it is the new moon reading. What is the new moon message? The new moon's in a few days. For Cancer, February, new moon, Holy Spirit, Angel, Guys, Spirit, Guys, what's the message? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Wow, somebody is reminiscing on the day that they got married. They consummated their union. They're reminiscing because it's an anniversary. There's an anniversary approaching. Cancer. Ooh, and you love stuff like that, you know. Um, you have an anniversary, a celebration. Something is happening um, where you're celebrating your wedding, your anniversary, your union. You're thinking back on it when you first tied the knot. This could be your first anniversary or you could have had many. But you're reminiscing when you first popped the question when that beautiful ring was in the box and you were giving it to them. Tell me more. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, under this new moon. What's the message here? Yeah, this developed rapidly. Um, you too may have had challenging times in the past, but regardless of those challenges, you made a promise. You took an oath. And um, this is somebody who has stayed together, weathered the storm. Yes, overcome challenges. Okay. Why? Because spirit is, because, you know, three strings make a stronger bond. Okay, that's what spirit just said. Three of you make a stronger bond. You know, um, it's you, your spouse, and Holy Spirit. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah, that's what has allowed this, whew, union to survive um you two are on the right path it's like oh god is the center of your universe oh my goodness I, wow this is what it looks like when you are in alignment you know like spirit always says you have to be equally yoked well this is what it looks like you're able to have yet anniversaries you're able to build over time you're able to sustain the challenges this is how some marriages survive you know we ask the elder couples couples that have been together for years what's the secret ingredient well spiritual alignment is the secret ingredient you know um having god in your union having holy spirit be a part of your union it humbles you you know it teaches us how to compromise with each other how to allow each other to grow um look at that yeah, you know, these challenging times, You're some of you are reminiscing some of the most difficult times in your relationship and um, really replaying that whole thing. But no matter what, you kept your union together. Oh, look at all these numbers you have, too. You have 777-333-1111. You know, you two were meant to be with each other. But for some reason, somebody is thinking. Uh, they're looking at this from different perspectives. Um, they're caught up in a challenge. There could be something that could challenge this relationship in the future. Yes, there is something coming up in the future. Maybe there's another challenge. You know, um, you two have just celebrated an anniversary, Cancer, and um, 
you know, maybe spiritually one of you feels, both of you feel that everything is going good. And then all of a sudden, boom, you hit a speed bump. Something happens. Um, it changes your perspective. But you know what? You don't walk away. You don't walk away no matter what. You hang in there. Holy crow. Because you want another anniversary. Somebody's not going to give up these anniversaries, this life with you. Are you kidding me? That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Tell me more. Why is cancer reminiscing? Or why is cancer's spouse reminiscing? Um, or what's going on here with this anniversary? Yeah, you two are faded. Look at this. Yes, this is like a, a twin flame relationship, Cancer. I feel that it is. It's an anniversary of a very special union. This is about being equally yoked. And you know what? Um, twin flames have to be equally yoked it took a lot to get to where you are to get this peace to get this flow to be in the zone where you currently are at you work to get there oh you overcame some challenges you had spirit like i said i felt like you had to compromise are you kidding me they didn't let you get over with things and you didn't let them get over with things there was rapid growth it started in the beginning and this is a relationship that's allow you to grow you know not every relationship allows future growth right because you're both individuals you're a hundred percent independently you know, this is somebody who's school did degree just like you are, Cancer. And you know what? <laughs> yeah, they didn't let you get away with nothing. They had to compromise. They had to compromise from you. But it's through these compromises that you both allowed that the growth took place. And, you know, your perspective was changed. That's what kept the bond together. Um, also, you worship together. You know, those who pray together stay together. And that's just a fact. Um, yes. Okay. So, having gone through, tell me about the challenging time that made the bond stronger. This 11-11. What is this Holy Spirit? Tell me. All these numbers, too. Master numbers, serious numbers, growth numbers. Um yeah, you both are, are dynamos in your own right. You know, you each are come with 100%. Um, yeah, you two pray together. You know, you meditate together. You align yourselves. Yes, you do. You align yourselves together. Tell me more, spirit. That's, didn't I say those who pray together stay together and the four swords comes? Mm -hmm. The king of swords. This is, you know, doing what you have to do. Not being so humble that you can't come down off your throne. This is that compromise, man. You know, this is that um, learning to pick your fights, choose your fights. Ooh. You know, somebody else is being reminded of all of the things that you've overcome and how you've overcome them and you're reminiscing on this because an anniversary has another year with this person under this commitment all that you've been through look at that the emperor appears that's the king of swords too evolves into the emperor and the empress and that's why you two are equally yoked <laughs> exactly you know you two are spiritually awakened i think you're a twin flame you were made for each other it's clear with the king of swords it's something you can't deny um look at that the ace of cups you're wondering in the future will you be able to overcome challenges yes with the ace of cups you will. You will. I don't think anything can break you. You two are... Look at this. You have unparalleled strength here. It's like you two support each other. When one is down, the other lifts them up. It's like you're two of a kind. You're two of a kind. You you strengthen each other. You um, 
make each other feel like you can overcome and accomplish anything. The support is so great. And this is what a real union that's equally yoked looks like. You two. Look at this, the King of Cups. Why? This is such a mature read because um, a few things, you know, like I feel like the man in this relationship is a real man. God bless America. He's a real man. The King of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Emperor. This is a real man. You can't help but fall in love with this man. Cancer. And, and you know what? The woman in this relationship, she tames that beast inside of that man. She tames him. And um, this is a power couple. This is a power couple. I'm telling you. This is what love and romance novel novels are written about. I mean, this is the love of a lifetime. Wow. I love this. Tell me more. And under this new moon, it's like you're... Some of you could be getting married again, right? Going through the ceremony again under this new moon. You're saying, I would marry you again. You know, uh, I want many more anniversaries with you. I'm willing to surmount some new challenges up ahead just to be with you. Um, this is, this is it. I'm telling you. This is, it is so... Uh, yeah, this is a soulmate for sure, uh, but it's a real one. It's one that works. Um, if you're not already with this emperor, um, divine masculine, divine feminine, I see the 1111. Trust me, with all these numbers, things are starting to come into synchronicity, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is married already and celebrating another year together and re reminiscing on what they had to go through to, yeah, this is the power couple. Exactly. This is the power couple here. We're, this is no ordinary love here. Mm, this is what books are written on. Okay, spirit, tell me some more, please. Okay, cancer. Tell me some more. So what's important here under this new moon? They've been together. They know the challenges they've overcome. Why are we talking about this again? If everything's going great, what's up? Because there's temptation up ahead. Because even though you've overcome years of this uh, adversity, you know, you've always compromised, you've always been able to get over all the challenges, but up ahead, there's some temptation, deception, and cancer. Spirit just wants you to make wise choices up ahead and uh, not to do anything to, okay, not to do anything that interferes with the next anniversary. He wants you to get to the next anniversary, but this temptation is deep. He's fine. Oh my gosh, she is so fine. This, they have their eyes on you, cancer. Mm -hmm. This is some temptation, child, that could cause you to make the wrong choice. Um, could prevent you from getting to your next anniversary. Spirit just said, this is future energy. You know, something's up ahead. And that's why he has you thinking about everything that you've overcome to get to where you want and all these anniversaries that you have celebrated and how valuable this spouse, this this person that's in your life. He wants you to think about everything that's on the line before this temptation even gets there. Before something happens. Mm, okay. What else, spirit? Yes, here she is, Divine Feminine. Yes, you are Divine Masculine. The Emperor is here, and Divine Feminine shows up. You know, both of you are being 
reminded of all of the work that you've put in. Everything that's on the line. Mm. You have a lot that would be blown as a result of this temptation. This seven of swords. This deception coming towards you in the future. Yeah, this that's why your intuition is talking to you. I'm I'm feeling like in this under this new moon, you know, you just just celebrated a anniversary and that's why it's so critical that you remember everything that you went through because your intuition is alerting you to you just celebrated, you're coming off a high and there's some deception up ahead that could challenge your next anniversary. Yeah, your higher self is allowing you to reminisce on what you had so that you don't do anything to jeopardize the next anniversary. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> Tell me more about this temptation that... Cancer's intuition or their spouse's intuition is speaking to them about. Yeah, this threatens to create a lot of drama. This is going to get your attention. This is something, this could be one of the most important challenges to your union up ahead. This challenge up ahead is no nothing to joke with. You're, you're, it's a warning. It's a warning <laughs> to protect what you have. What you have is much more important than being led astray with this upcoming drama. Somebody's going to make a pitch here for either you or your mate. Yeah, they're going to put pressure on their emotions, make them make a choice. And, and that's why Spirit said make the wise choice. When this deception shows up, don't be fooled by it. Don't be fooled by it. This is your warning here, Cancer. Uh, what you've built is much more important and and you stand to lose a lot. If you're not able to protect what you have, you stand to lose a lot. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. And your family means everything to you, right? This is a big gamble here. That's what I'm feeling. Beware of this temptation. Hmm. Okay. For those of you who were able to resonate with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, tell me. Ciao. What is going on here? Get to the details because uh, I see a, a wonderful couple here. Don't let anybody interfere with that. Um, for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much. And for those of you who... Oh, haven't subscribed yet, I urge you to listen to your signs under your birth chart, your other signs. You're so much more than your sun sign. And um, until the next moon phase, Cancer, so the, and this is a new moon. You just had an anniversary, you know, you just, or it's coming up. It's, it's very soon to this new moon, which is in two days. That's why you're reminiscing on everything that you went through to get to where you are. And that's why spirit is putting on your mind. All of this is coming to the surface because some temptation is up ahead, man. He wants you to think with your head. The higher head. I don't know. Alrighty. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.